So we're back with the uh, Bitcoin vending machine here, Project Skyhook. Uh, what I figured out was that the problems I was having earlier with it not being able to connect uh, was user error. Turns out I didn't follow the instructions. Um, what happened was the first step in the instructions is to power on the tablet. I figured that means you plug the whole thing in. Well, no, it turns out that's step three. So apparently the tablet has to be powered up, booted up, Firefox has to be loaded, and then or Firefox, you wait on Firefox, you boot up the tablet, once that's booted, then you boot up the device, as I understand it. Honestly, I haven't disconnected power since I got it working, so I haven't experimented with that, but I think that's what it is. So anyways, you can see here the account configuration screen has come up. You can set your password, you can set, this pricing setting here is where does it get its price from? Because when you look at the machine when you're a customer, it shows you what the current price of uh, the Bitcoin is, and you can select from several different exchanges. As you can see there, I've chosen Bitcoin Average. Uh, I'm charging at this point a 5% fee. Can raise and lower that as is necessary. I could also set a minimum price. So I think uh, Bitcoin slightly below $600 today. If I had bought Bitcoins at $600, I probably wouldn't want to sell them at less than that. So I could set a minimum price if I wanted to do that as well. The blockchain configuration are some settings for your blockchain account. This unit. At this time, it's an open source project, but for right now, the main software only connects with blockchain.info. So you have to have a blockchain.info account. There has to be Bitcoin in that account in order for you to be able to, to sell Bitcoin. There's also a transaction limit setting where I could tell you know the machine, don't let anybody buy more than $100 or $500 worth of uh, Bitcoin. Email settings, it only works with Gmail at this time, apparently. So you have to have a Gmail account to get logs and things like that from this machine. This is the message that'll come up if there's an issue with a connection to the network, for instance. Uh, and it'll let people know how to get in touch with the machine owners, which is the Shire Free Church. Uh, there's some commands to help you retrieve transaction logs here. If you want it to send you uh, hourly transaction logs, you can do that. And then localization settings, what language do you want this in? And then there's some more stuff about restarting the device here. So basically, We'll hit save on that and it'll take us hopefully out to the main screen of the unit wherein we will hopefully be able to buy some Bitcoin. I actually haven't attempted that yet. So we are going to give that a shot here. I wonder if it'll take $2 bills. I highly doubt it, but it'd be interesting to try it. And it's a $10 bill. So let's go. All right, so current Bitcoin price, 611.95. And it wants to scan a QR code, so that would be my QR code from my web wallet here. I wonder if it'll let me actually, do you want to do it with yours, uh, Derek J? Because I'm wondering what will happen if I use my own account to buy, <laughs> to buy Bitcoins from. That could be a little bit weird. Well, I don't have my phone on me. Okay, well, let's try it and see what happens. <laughs> Actually, what I did with blockchain was I set up a second uh, address in my blockchain account for the Bitcoin vending machine. So there's like my address for personal spending, and then there's a Bitcoin vending machine address which has separate Bitcoin. So I'm actually going to send, I'm going to send my main address some Bitcoin from my vending machine address, if that makes sense. Yep, and it looks like it's got a little video screen there. Hello. So I guess you can. Uh Put your phone up to that, or no, where do you put your phone up to? The um, Oh, the, the camera. camera, okay, that makes sense. So you, you can eyeball it and see if you're um, sending to the right address. The blockchain app is frozen at the moment. There it is. All right, let's go to receive. Blockchain is frozen, so stand by. They did just come out with a new app, so maybe there's some bugs. Otherwise, I well, there's a been liking the blockchain app. If there's an FPP newspaper nearby. Oh, okay. It came up with a little question here. Do you need more time? Well, that was Let me nice. Say yes. Well, one of the benefits I was um, talking about earlier today was with not really needing to have your phone ready for um, receiving some Bitcoin because you could just have your QR code printed out somewhere. In your wallet like, or something? Yeah, like in your pocket or in your wallet so that whenever someone wants to send you some Bitcoin, 
You don't need your phone to accept it. You just need That's a, good a piece idea. of paper. And then when you were using a machine like this, you could just bring your piece of paper and, yeah. and put it up to the screen. Because right now it's telling me I, my code's broken, so there's actually a problem with the blockchain app. So if you want to take a quick break, I'll print one out and we'll try it that way. All right, cool. All right, let's try it.